What's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome to another episode of the Dig Deeper Network. I just had a quick question, man. Uh, how long do you think Iran will tolerate our bullying? I read a post from USA Today. And it was really good. I'm going to try and screenshot and throw them in here. But it was a timeline of our treatment of Iran since Donald Trump started running for president. Now, in the past, obviously, Iran and U.S. have been quarreling for a long time. It's primarily because they have oil and can't be trusted with nuclear production. So as Barack Obama was close to leaving office, him, John Kerry, various allied countries got together to create the Iran nuclear deal. And that was that Iran promises to just keep it to friendly commercial nuclear development. And unfortunately, uh, our president said that that was the dumbest deal ever. And in addition to the Iran deal, part of it was to give them back something like $1.5 billion. It was because the U.S. had taken their money in the past for military reasons. So after striking that deal, after returning the money that we had practically just stole from Iran, things were looking good for the next 10 years. Unfortunately, Trump declared pulling out of the deal, ripping up the deal against the Pentagon and Congress's wishes. 2018, there were two rounds of sanctions, which is forcing them to have a bad economy. They ripped up the deal. John Bolton announces that they're flying bombers and aircraft carriers uh, over to Iran because John Bolton is a war criminal. That's documented. Look it up. Uh, unfortunately, he is calling shots. as uh, one of those neocons that are just screwing things up for the country. So we hit him with sanctions. We hit him with threats. Eventually, they responded and said, all right, we're going to start enriching uranium in heavy water again since the United States wants to pull out of that deal. And now we're just back to bullying them and threatening violence and trying to screw up their industries just because we want control of Iran and, and their oil. And whatever reason it is that, you know, the, it's just a profitable business endless amounts of money on on war the way we're bombing eight different countries right now and nobody's talking about it and saudi arabia and israel are our best friends not so much our other allies but this continued uh bullying against iran what's that gonna lead to man it, it's it's provoking them into war so that we can use government money that we print and give it to the Raytheon, Boeings, all the companies that are in our politicians' pockets and egg this sort of thing on. Uh, this is clearly uh, an example of neocons running the show, of our military spending, again, going to nothing but driving us further into debt and, you know, causing danger to us and the rest of the world. You know, he's bypassing Congress and everybody else to do it. So it's just, I wonder what the world thinks of us now, today. I wonder what this is going to lead between us and Iran and anybody else that wants to stand up to, you know, an imperialist, warmongering, hawkish government like we are. And this is precisely why we need to get money out of politics. Because politicians, defense companies... They're buddied up, they're in the politicians' pockets, and the politicians are representing them instead of the people and driving our country into crap. We can always approve trillions of more dollars to throw into the military, but we can't, you know, put a billion aside for our own people. I'll never understand the, the system and the machine that we uh, belong to today. And I think the people need to voice their opposition to our once populist president. It's just sad, man. I, I, I hate that we, we keep escalating and people who voice anti-war opinion are being hushed, demonetized, silenced, and looked at as stupid by all the people that are programmed by mainstream media. Wake up and understand what we're doing overseas and see how we're... Iran didn't deserve this kind of bullying. 
consider whose team we're on overseas because we we aid ISIS and Taliban uh, and just all these rebel forces that we swore that we were going to go fight back in 9-11 when all this started. Um, it's just, it's a bad place to be, man. And I just, I hope that enough American people can realize this, voice their opinion that they are with the program, that money out of politics needs to happen, and for so many reasons, and our government needs to represent us, and we need to make a drastic fundamental change to everything we do. So thanks for tuning in to Dig Deeper Network. Catch you next time.